producer is now suing the network. Abby Grossberg claims the company's legal team coerced her into giving misleading testimony in that case. A reminder, Dominion filed a $1.6 billion defamation suit against Fox News. It alleges the channel falsely claimed that Dominion Voting Systems was responsible for fraud in the 2020 election. Fox is denying both Dominion's claim and Grossberg's new claim. NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos is looking into all this for us. Uh, can, can you help us understand what this producer is arguing in her new lawsuit and, and what the allegations are and the timing? Most of the complaint reads like a classic sex discrimination lawsuit, although it's very much written uh, as a speaking kind of indictment, not a true indictment. But in other words, it is a narrative that is designed to be released to the public because the attorneys surely knew this would be newsworthy. So there's plenty more narrative than you normally see in a civil complaint in this case. But at the core, it is a straight up sex discrimination and other forms of discrimination complaint. The part about the depositions features really only later in the complaint. And the allegations are that she was coerced into giving what she describes as not exactly accurate testimony when she was deposed in the Dominion lawsuit. Coerced by her bosses at Fox News is the allegation, right? According to the complaint, she goes into a room. It's full of Fox lawyers and from outside law firms, but people align with Fox. And, uh, and she's essentially coerced into giving testimony that she now thinks isn't as accurate. The problem there is that you're under oath at a deposition. It's on you to give truthful answers. So she's caught in a little bit of a conundrum there. So what could this mean for the initial lawsuit with Dominion? Is the evidence testimony she gave going to be thrown out, or is she caught in that hard place and it cha changes nothing? That'll, uh, that'll work itself out in discovery. There doesn't appear to be anything in the complaint that'll get it tossed at this stage, at the pleading stage. But as it moves into discovery, that's going to be critical. And you better believe Fox's attorneys are going to do two things. Number one, they're going to point out that she's under oath in a deposition, not Fox. She has to give truthful answers. But what you also see in these discrimination cases is that normally the defendant, the corporation, has built a file. I won't be surprised to find that, you know, true or not, they have built a dossier on this employee if they perceived her as a problem for them. Okay, it's a messy Danny. situation. Danny Savalas, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.